All right, guys, welcome back. Thanks for joining me in this one. Top 10 cornerbacks. Now, I just did the best team possible, best card of every position. That video is up right now. Go check that out. If you have a question about any position, I do explain it. Or if you want the best budget card at every position, that video is up as well. So go check those videos out. All righty, let's get started. Number 10, it's going to be Maddox, guys. Five foot nine is a problem. Imagine him guarding six foot eight Carmichael. That's insane. So there's going to be a spot where his guy is going to get abused on defense. Uh, you do not want him deep. You do not want him in a jump ball situation in the red zone. In the red zone, you pretty much got to substitute this guy out because of that. And there's so many wide receivers with 90 spec catch. So with that being said, what is he good for? Flat zone KO is going to be nice because uh, he can play underneath. Now, uh, that's how you're going to use this card. That's why this card is not higher on the list. It's basically because of his height, and he can't really play zone. You're going to play man to use this card. Up next is Alexander. Well, what's wrong with this card? We're going to go through that. I'll tell you a couple of things I like about him. is 90 speed, 90 excel, 90 pod. How about that? 90 change direction. You can give him 90 zone, which would be nice, and a little threshold there you might want. Now, I will say, what's wrong with this card? No pick artists. How about that? And guess what? Maddox doesn't get it either. So those are going to be big issues for these cards. And having really low catch with no pick artists, you're going to get mad at this card. And uh, you're not going to like him. So can he play okay coverage? Yes. Can he cost you? Yes. Marcus Peters is next. Now, 84 Excel is a concern. 90 man is nice. 85 zone is a threshold, but you wish he had 90. I get it. Now, this guy here can only get one man KO, which you're going to put pick artist, so you're going to lose that KO. So basically, he gets no KOs. So this guy is lacking ability. He is lacking acceleration. So with that being said, I can't put him higher on the list. Now, Jerry Jacobs is here. He's a way better acceleration than Marcus. You can give him 90 zone. That would really help. Uh, if you run man, this guy may not be usable on your team, but he is fast enough. He does get pick artists, so I got to put him above the cards that didn't get pick artists. And being a little bit faster than Peters, I do like this card a little bit better. I had him on my team. He played a little bit better than Peters, I will say, but let's keep it moving. Why is Jalen Johnson better than the cards I just mentioned? Well, he gets 90 zone without a boost, which is nice. You can get him 90 man, which would be insane. That'd be a great threshold for you to hit. Now, this card here is gonna be better because of abilities, right? He's gonna be able to give you pick artist plus a KO. So with that being said, you're gonna have better options here to really get this card moving in the right direction with the right abilities. Fruit Punch is here, guys, and yes, he's pretty good. 88 speed is not the best, but 86 Excel is a little concerning. I will say though, 90 man is nice. And yes, this card here, it's going to give you a couple of good options. You can get pick artists here, medium route KO here. This card here plays a little bit better than this Jalen Johnson, I would say. I use both of them, and I'm a big fan of this Fruit Punch card. He actually has a cool name, and he actually is aggressive, and right now he's pretty cheap. I'll go get him for 170 if you have not. What does Bottleneck do? Now, this guy is going to fit your team if you really run man. Bottleneck's really going to help with that press. But if you run zone, then move Jalen up. It depends what you want on your team. Some of this list has to be based on preference. Now, Charles Woodson is on the list, and he is so good. 90 man, 90 zone. You can put him whatever scheme you want. He will show up. He's aggressive. You can move him to free safety, strong safety. I really do like that. And yes, of course, he gets important stuff like pick artists, KOs. You can put man or zone KOs. So I got to have him ahead of the other cards because he gives you that option and he gives you the threshold. Revis is next, guys. He's a better Woodson because he hits the 85 play rack. So that's part of it. And he's a little bit faster. So definitely an upgrade at Woodson here. He can give you a man KO here of any type. You can get three good abilities on this guy. If you need to run zone KOs, this will not be your player, but this card is elite. Is he worth 350K? Absolutely. 
I overpaid for him, but guess what? He plays great for me, so I'm not really worried about overpaying for him. I paid about 400 k for him, but I will say, this card here, with man and zone at 90, you can set him and forget him in any scheme. EasyMutt.com. Use code Q. Get 10% off right now. Stop gambling your money. Go save your money. Go get the team you want. Go have the fun you want. Go get the players you want. Why is to be better? Well, it's basically because of height, right? He is 6'1", so he's two inches taller than Rebus. That's going to be the main difference. He has over 90 press, which is nice if that's your kind of scheme. And the deep route KO, this is going to give you a little bit of an option over Rebus. If you're not going to use this, then I guess it's not really going to matter. But I will say he does get zone and man KO, so that's why I like him better than Rebus. He's going to give you a little more to pick from in that spot, and he's a little bit taller so I got him at number two. And up next, guys, we have Sauce here. 6'3", that's a size you want. 90 man, 90 zone, 90 press. We're talking about 90s here, which are thresholds. So this guy here is going to be nice. And yes, he gives you man KOs. So if you run zone KOs, this won't be your guy. But why do I like him better? Because, well, he's 6'3", guys, against jump balls. He's going to be better than the other cards. And he does give you bottleneck and universal coverage which could really make a huge difference so giving you that option he has to be number one for sure right now in this game is going to be sauce if you have any questions about any of these cornerbacks or any other cornerbacks you're running a budget team put it down in the comments i will help you out and 80 catch is also nice by the way so yes i have sauce at number one that's new for me guys be kind for no reason help each other encourage each other Go check out my last video, best card at every position. And I already did the best budget card at every position. So go check those out. I'll see you in the next video.